tap in y'all tap into this message today i'm going to be talking about the art of detachment i guess it's a concept i guess that's the best way to describe it is a concept but it's really a mindset and a way of life the art of detachment has truly changed my life in ways that i cannot explain but i will try to for this video i want to talk about some of the key things that i have learned with this concept when done right this is the key to happiness health well-being fulfillment all the things we know the famous quote the root of all suffering is attachment and when i heard that at the time the first time i heard that quote and really took it in was 2018 and i didn't understand what he meant by that but now i fully fully understand First, let's define detachment because detachment, when you first hear that, it can sound very cold. It can sound like that means you lack care, lack compassion, are emotionless. All those things are not true. And that's not what detachment means when we talk about the art of detachment. The art of detachment is all about maintaining your emotional balance and not letting external circumstances disturb or disrupt your inner peace. It's so important in today's world to master detachment because this world is so fast paced, chaotic, unpredictable. We can plan all day, but you know what they say, you make plans, God laughs. I'm currently going through something like that right now. Learning to detach is critical. It's critical for your nervous system to be regulated it's critical for your peace of mind it's critical for your happiness overall it allows us to navigate life's challenges without feeling overwhelmed and defeated the emotional resilience that comes from practicing the art of detachment and just understanding that if you do not attach yourself to any one or two say your plan a and plan b outcomes if you do not attach yourself to any of your preferred, planned, thought about outcomes, whatever happens, happens, and you can choose to be happy in that. By not overly attaching ourselves to our desired outcomes or what we think is our desired outcome, we can handle any disappointments, detours and setbacks more gracefully you know i saw a reel the other day and she wasn't labeling it the art of detachment but what she was saying is when you don't have a plan you're never upset about things not going as planned and i was like that is such an art of detachment way of thinking and again, it doesn't mean that you just have no care in the world. You don't care about things. It just means that you decide to be happy and present with whatever life is presenting to you in that moment. It's really an act of being present and being happy in the present, not so focused on what you think life should be, what you think you should have, what you think you should be moving towards, being happy in the now. People that meet me today will probably find it hard to believe when I tell them that I used to be an anxious, emotional wreck. Control freak, emotional wreck. I used to have really bad social anxiety. I used to have really bad just anxiety in general. When things didn't go my way, it was the end of the world. Literally felt like I was dying, the type of panic attacks and stress that would be induced on me, which is self-induced. All because things didn't go as planned. I didn't know, oh, how am I gonna get around? The, you know, I would freak out. I would freak out and thinking back at it now, it's like, oh my goodness, I would never react that way if those same curveballs were thrown my way in today. It just wouldn't happen. My mindset's completely different. I have also lived long enough to where I know that anything that does come my way that isn't according to plan was not given to me for no reason. Any challenge that comes to me is accepted because I know that God would not be giving me the challenge if I couldn't handle it. I wasn't able to fully embrace the law of detachment until I was able to fully embrace faith and having faith. You cannot intellectually conceptualize God's plan sometimes. You just can't. So don't try. When you trust the process of life, you let go of the unnecessary worries. I no longer have social anxiety. My anxiety 
comes and goes in waves, it doesn't sit with me. My stress levels are so reduced because I know that everything's gonna be just fine. I don't have to attach myself to any outcome. I trust that me putting one foot in front of the other, going towards whatever I'm going towards, is all I need to do. Happiness will not come to me if I have this desired outcome. Happiness will not come to me if this thing works out in the long run. Happiness is with me right now. Happiness is with you right now. I truly believe that. The art of detachment has also improved my relationships with people. I used to be anxiously attached, if you guys know about attachment styles. I used to be really anxiously attached. Now, sometimes I can feel my anxious attachment creeping in, but I quickly put it back and put it in its place. I don't let it take over. I don't, like, I don't let it dictate my decisions. So it's not that it's completely gone because it's a part of me, but it doesn't control me anymore. And I'm actively working towards secure attachment naturally. But with the art of detachment, how it relates to people in your life, I used to feel like, oh, this person is mine. They're mine, right? And I have to have them in this type of way or like whatever. Like it's really controlling. And it's really like you don't have control over people. You don't. And the quicker that you not only realize that but accept that, Oh my gosh, the more detached I feel to people being mine or whatever, the more I feel connected to them. Because when you feel like someone doesn't owe you anything because they're yours or whatever, you understand that anything that person is giving you, any time, any attention, any love that they're giving you is because they want to. It's not because they feel obligated to or they're supposed to. It's because they want to, because they do not have to. When you detach yourself from people, you realize that everyone you have in your life is because you want them there. It's not because you're attached to them being there. You gotta let go of the control. You gotta let go of trying to control the outcomes, the circumstances, the thought process. As a type A person, and I still am a type A person, I love to plan, but I no longer get upset or dysregulated when things don't go as planned. I pivot so easily now. The pivot process for me is, it's instant. I instantly can pivot. I wasn't able to make quick decisions like that before. If I made quick decisions, it was impulsive and it was probably the wrong decision. Now. I pivot and I make quick decisions, not impulsively. I just know this, okay, I gotta do this. I don't overthink things. I don't let too many things get me down nowadays. Who I am today with the art of detachment, I feel, for lack of better words, completely detached from who I once was. This version of me and the version of me 10 years ago are two completely different people. And the art of detachment has a lot to do with that. So there is a book that I want to recommend you guys. I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to kind of touch on my testimony with the art of detachment. But it is going to take a lot of research and a lot of practice in your everyday life to truly understand and start living out this concept. But one book that really helped me all is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. I listened to the audiobook version of this. It's about eight and a half hours long. I love the audiobook version. They have mindful practices throughout the book where at random times they'll do little dings that sound like little sound bowl chimes or wind chimes just to make sure that you're paying attention, that you're present. The book is called The Power of Now. It's all about staying present and being in the now. And that book really helped me. I listened to it twice during two different years. And it really helped me recenter and come back to really the beginning of embracing the art of detachment because the art of detachment I feel is better to accept once you have accepted the present moment and fully embracing the present moment because that helps you detach from the future, which we have no control over. So the faster we can detach from future outcomes, the better and practicing mindfulness and the power of now and being present really helped me grasp 
the art of detachment. So anyone that is getting into the art of detachment and wants to start practicing it, I recommend starting there. So I'll put the link to the power of now down in the description box below and I'll probably pin it in the comment section. But I do recommend listening to the audiobook version. It's a lot more digestible that way because it is a long read, but also the mindful practices that they put throughout I found to be very helpful and different and unique and I really enjoyed that experience with the audiobook version. So that is where I'm going to leave y'all in this video with this concept talk. The art of detachment is definitely something that I recommend to anyone, anyone. It is such a life-changing concept. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!